With Finance Boards, you can configure your researching and investing dashboards with any of our 500 plus financial data or information widgets. In our Finance Boards Widget Spotlight series, we pick one of these widgets, explain how it works, and go over why you should consider adding it to your Finance Boards dashboards. To learn more about the platform, sign up for a weekly webinar where you'll find out how Finance Boards is more than just a Bloomberg terminal for the everyday trader. The widget in the spotlight today is monthly returns. For the last 12 months, this widget displays the monthly returns, green being positive and red being negative, of a stock as a percentage. This graphical display makes the widget a great tool for seeing a month by month history of the percentage change in the value of a stock. This allows the researcher to see what trends might be occurring, the volatility of a stock, and this 12-month history of the stock's change in value. Here we see Apple's monthly returns. While Apple has had decreased in price over the last month, this means a negative trend, 10 out of the last 12 months have had positive returns. However, only in one of those months, February 2017, were the returns greater than 10%. If we type a different ticker at the top left of a widget, let's say Tesla here, and click enter, we'll see a different story. For the last year, Tesla's had monthly returns over 10% six of those months. That's very impressive. However, Tesla's also had negative price change during five of the last 12 months, while Apple only had two. Both of these points show us that Tesla's price is more volatile than Apple's, something that may be a good or bad thing, depending on the person. However, Tesla's had positive returns during the last four months here, while Apple has had negative returns this last month, as we can see here, uh, meaning that Tesla's price is trending more positive than Apple's is. The stock's monthly returns can also be seen in other widget formats, like this bar chart here, where it compares the monthly returns of a stock to the change in the S&P 500's returns. And we see this exact same information in just this table widget as well. Thank you for watching this Finance Board's Monthly Returns Widget Spotlight, and we welcome you to visit and register for a free account at financeboards.com and also to sign up for our weekly webinar. Thank you.